Hi, I'd like to share three new media projects with you. Gunter's Paris is a collaboration with a photographer completed in October 2005. Here it is. Let me tell you about it. I visited Gunter in his studio to talk about this cone work I was doing. He was preparing an exhibition of some pictures of Paris. Here they are. I thought they were beautiful, and that made me want to collaborate with him. I decided to go to Paris and shoot some video to combine with his photographs, but when I got back, I couldn't find a relationship between my Paris, which you're looking at now, and his Paris you just saw. So I focused on his photos, first collaging them, then projecting multiple moments in the history of the collage back onto it. That's what you're looking at, the completed collage underneath the projection of its creation. No matter how long you look at this piece, you'll never see the same thing twice, due to the dynamic computer processing of the projection. The three projects have that in common. You can sit there and stare at them for a year and you'll never see the same composition of images. Flat Cube was also completed in October 2005. Again, it keeps changing without repetition. Six canvases represent six sides of a cube, which is then flattened into a single plane again. Here are three of the static paintings, which were also stretched out into time. Traditionally, an artist prepares the grounds and materials, maybe studies, and maybe plans the piece, spends some time working on the painting, and finishes it. Hopefully, it gets seen, eventually might fade or crack, may get restored. We mainly pay attention to that completed state. I wanted to focus on the time spent painting rather than on a finished product. Instead of a linear progression like you see here and here, I decide to scramble time for all six paintings. There's no beginning and no end to this piece, just various states of being. This is true for the other two projects as well. Still Life with T was completed February 2006. Here it is. Each day for a month, I made a pot of tea in my studio, shot video of doing that, and drank it. Sharing the experience of looking at tea is the foundation of this project. All the tea grounds are in the piece, as you can see here. All the tea cups help compose the piece as well, 30 of them, both the digital component and the physical structure. Since we can't sit around drinking tea all day, I went out into the world to get other non-tea related objects, such as handles from discarded umbrellas. I shot an hour of video each day, including any cup of tea I drank throughout the day, as well as pretty much anything that struck a chord. All the video is combined so that it's jumping around in time and projected inside the piece, creating a constantly changing new media installation.